How are you doing? I'm TJ Thine from the Fox Show Bones. <laughs> Let me first say, we're shooting on a rooftop in Whitley Heights, which is like the epitome of Hollywood. Like this started, where we are, started in 1918. This guy named J.H., I think his name was J.H. Whitley. The, like Rudolph Valentino and all the silent film era people all lived right where we are right now. Judy Garland lived up here for a little while. So this is like, this is Hollywood as we know. NBC offered me a role, would I leave Fox? Do you know something? Is there talk? I mean, NBC, if you're talking about something, then uh, give me a call. That's hard. I really love this character. I mean, Jack Hodgins is really fun, and we have such an amazing cast and a, and a great group. No, I'd have to see this through. I'd have to see what happens with Jack and Bones before I would leave the show. <laughs> or in your iPod. <laughs> um, embarrassing songs. Well, I should first say that I have good stuff on there. Uh, I've got Muse on there, and the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, and Mumford and & Sons, uh, Matt and Kim, Passion Pit. So the most embarrassing. Alright, last night I went to the Hollywood Bowl. Um, uh, they do this thing, it's like it's an 8th annual event where they screen the sound of music, and there's 18,000 people that go and do a sing-along. So I went home and downloaded uh, Edelweiss from the Sound of Music, so I guess it would be Edelweiss from every episode is, is pretty disgusting. Every second of it. It's weird how you get comfortable like on set. You you find yourself like eating and like hanging out and having great conversations over this like would be, you know, nasty corpse. Right. So it's pretty gross. Oh, why should people like Hodgins more than Seely? Alright, so why do you like why would someone like Hodgins more than I, you're gonna get me in trouble. I don't know that I can answer this. That's that's a skate you know, David is a producer on this show, which means he's my boss, so like my character more than his. I mean, you know, I, I come on, who's smarter? I mean, at the end of the day, who's smarter, right? Yes, Angela's pregnant, so I'm gonna be a dad. I'm so excited, I'm gonna be a dad on the show, on the show. Um, I'm not lucky enough to be a dad yet in real life. So, on the show, I'm gonna be a dad. And uh, there's no name picked out. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, but it would be cool if we could name him. I think they're, they're hinting that it's, it's a boy, though. Uh, we could name him, I think, Hart, after our creator. It would be kind of neat. Or Sebastian, we just like that name. <laughs> um, Jack's got lots of great coats, which this one is also... I might have to steal this. Yeah. Um, he's got good coats, so I would, I would love to steal some of his coats. But man, they tag that stuff, they make sure. I mean, oof. We couldn't get off a lot if we had any piece of wardrobe in our cars before, you know, as we left. No way. I've tried. <laughs> Best fast food restaurant is... in and out Hands down. Yeah. You know, I'm from the East Coast, but there's just nothing like an in and out burger. I, I mean, nothing. I mean, you can't... It's so good. You know, there was this one moment where uh, I was... My girlfriend and I had been together for a long time single right now, which is sad and pathetic. Um, let's see if we can remedy that. Um, but at the time, this was many years ago, I had flown my girlfriend down to the Caribbean. And we had this great hut. We were in uh, St. Martin. And we had this great hut right on the water, and uh, we had come back um, from a night out, and it was pouring rain, and I couldn't find the keys to the, uh, to the hut. And uh, at, it just right there in the rain, just you can, you can use your imagination, but it was lots of fun and quite romantic. Great, I'm single and I have to tell you about people that are dead. Um, <laughs> what about now? Um, all right, okay. Uh, like a classic, like Barbara Stanwyck and, and, and like Grace Kelly. She's not alive. Just Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly. Um, May West. Um, yeah. If Jack was kicking ass on Bones, uh, you know, threaten Angela or his uh, unborn child, and Jack would leap at any uh, threat. Of course, he would throw himself in front of him. You know, honestly, he would probably throw himself in front of uh, uh, any threats of the team. You know. I can 
say that I, get, I always get very, and this has happened since I was a kid, anytime anyone takes advantage of another human being, um, I can't stand that. I just can't stand that. That's, that's hard. I'm obsessed with music. I travel all the time for music. I always go to every music festival. And, um, my last one was Lollapalooza, which is really fun. I, I would say in this moment tonight, today, it would be Mumford and Sons. These guys rock. I really like that. And maybe Arcade Fire. And Muse. And the Killers. And I don't know. They, they, Mumford and Sons. Hi, I'm TJ Thine. Look for my feature in the November issue of Zoe.